गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स आई एम लक्ष्मी माड़ी आई एम टेकिंग फिफ्थ स्टैंडर्ड साइंस सब्जेक्ट टूडेज अवर थर्ड टॉपिक इज एयर एंड इट्स इम्पॉर्टन्स टूडे यू आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट दी ऑक्सीजन गैस ऑक्सीजन इज ए सेकेंड मोस्ट अबंडंट गैस फाउंड इन दी एयर अराउंड अस इट इज मेड एंड एडेड to the air by plants and some plant like microorganisms living things need oxygen to survive plants take in air through tiny pores in the leaves called as stomata animals living on the land take in oxygen by breathing in the air for from the surrounding with the help of lungs the air reaches and collects to the lungs from the lungs oxygen from the air is absorbed into the blood and then transported to all parts of the body oxygen is a colorless odorless tasteless gas essential to living organisms oxygen is the second most abundant gas being taken up by animals which convert it to carbon dioxide plants in turn utilize carbon dioxide as a source of carbon and return the oxygen to the atmosphere animals living in the water take in the oxygen dissolved in the water through different organs fish take in air through their gills while animals such as frogs and earthworms take in air through their skin aquatic animals may breathe air or extract oxygen that dissolve in water through specialized organs fish take in air through their gills and frogs earthworms they uh, take in air through their skin next carbon dioxide gas carbon dioxide is the gas given out by living things during the process of respiration it is the gas used by plants along with water and sunlight to produce food carbon dioxide is a colorless gas with a density about 53% higher than that the that of dry air the air we breathe out contains more of carbon dioxide in comparison to the air which we breathe in carbon dioxide is produced when things burn however it does not support the burning of things for this reason it is also used in fire extinguisher a process by which plant produce food for themselves and other organisms using sunlight and carbon dioxide gas we breathe in oxygen and some of this carbon dioxide when we exhale we breathe out less oxygen but more carbon dioxide than we inhale next water vapor water from different types of water bodies such as seas oceans rivers lakes and ponds keeps evaporating due to the sun's heat the gases form of water is called a water vapor more water vapor is added to the air on a sunny and windy day in comparison to a cloudy and calm day the water vapor rises up condenses and forms clouds when the clouds become heavy enough the water falls in the form of rain water vapor in the air is also responsible for the formation of dew and fog water vapor is a gaseous phase of water it is one state of water within the hydrosphere water vapor can be produced from the evaporation or boiling of liquid water or from the sublimation of ice 
plants also add water vapor into the air water keeps escaping from the open stomata present on the leaves of plants and this process is called a transpiration the loss of water in the form of vapor from the aerial parts of the plant into the atmosphere is called a transpiration next dust fine particles of dust keep rising up in the air all the time as they are very light they keep floating in the air dust is mainly made up of tiny soil particles fibers pollen grains and human skin cells air contains particulate matter dust is made up of fire particles of solid matter it is composed of small amount of plant pollen grain human and uh, pollen grains human skin soil particles fibers etc next microbes microbes or microorganisms are small living organisms that are not visible to the naked eye many types of microorganisms such as bacteria viruses fungi are carried by the air as such organisms are very light and light in weight they keep floating in the air some of the organisms microorganisms found in the air are useful while some are harmful and cause many diseases microbes are minute unicellular organisms that are invisible to the naked eye they are also known as microorganisms as they could only be seen under a microscope some of the microorganisms found in the air are useful while some are harmful and cause many diseases next air and weather moving air is called a wind gently moving air is called a breeze and while fast moving air called a storm weather is what actually happens in the air around us any movement in air is called a wind air cannot be seen but it can be felt when it moves any movement in air is called a wind and when wind moves gently it is called a breeze strong moving wind is called a storm weather is what actually happens in the air around us when the air becomes hot from the heat of sun the weather becomes hot rain when the air becomes warm the water in the clouds falls towards the ground as rain rain is the main source of water on the earth we get rains mainly during the rainy season which begins from the month of may june or july in our country rain water fills up ponds the rivers oceans and lakes snow when the temperature of the air is 0 degree celsius or less the water in the clouds freezes to form snow while falling towards the ground in the cold winter months the water vapor in the air condenses to form ice crystal instead of water snowflakes fall from the clouds to the ground it is called a snowfalls next mist when water vapor present in the air close to the ground condenses mist is formed when water vapor present in the air and close to the ground condenses that time mist is formed next dew when water vapor present in the air condenses on to different surfaces especially at night dew is formed
on cold nights water vapor cools down and condenses on grass leaves and other objects these drops of water are called a dew so students now it's time to take the homework write a short note on air and weather in your science homework book and send on the whatsapp thank you